There are certain settings, and I'll let you know when we come across them, that Google is specifically trying to, trying to get you to spend more money. And in most of those cases, you're not gonna necessarily want to um, go along with those default settings. And I'll, and I'll let you know when we come across things of that nature. In this section, we're gonna go ahead and create our very first Google Ads account. Now remember, if you already have a Google Ads account and you know how to configure all the basic settings, feel free to skip around. We're gonna go through each individual setting that you're faced with when you go to create your first Google AdWords, Google Ads account. And we're gonna talk in a bit of detail about each setting and some strategies and potential scenarios, how you'd wanna configure them for your own specific business. Uh, again, all you really need to get started is an internet connection, a computer, and a Google account. If you don't have a Google account, let's jump into the computer. If you don't have a Google account, head over to google.com and click sign in and then create an account. But most of you already have a Google account. Um, if you don't have a Google Ads account, let's go ahead and create our very first Google Ads account now. So you're gonna go over to google.com and you could search for Google Ads, right? And you could click on the first result or over here, ads.google.com. You could also alternatively go to ads.google.com and hit enter. And you're gonna be shown this Google Ads homepage. Click sign in and you're gonna go and sign in with your actual credentials. And this is an account that I created for the sake of this course. This is the very first page that you're gonna see when you create a new Google Ads account. You're asked, what is your main advertising goal? Now, I want to skip this. So we're gonna, it's very important. We're gonna click skip the guided setup, okay? Many of you have written to me that you don't see the screen that I'm on, and that's because back on this screen over here, you clicked one of these objectives, get more calls. Google offers you these goals um, to simplify the campaign setup structure. And again, this is, sort of one of the ways that Google, yeah, I think that Google's trying to simplify it a little bit, but they're also trying to get you to spend more money because they take away some of the flexibility and customizability you have when it comes to setting up your campaigns if you choose one of these goals. And almost all, all of the keywords, the ad group structure, it's gonna be automated. I'm gonna have the ability to just create my ad, set up billing, and boom, I'm off to the races. All the, the, the really advanced techniques and topics we're gonna to cover will not be available if we go through one of these what they call guided setups. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna click skip this guided setup. Just make sure to do that, it's very important. <clears throat> the next screen we're on is Google asking us what type of campaign we, we wanna set up. Now this isn't Google trying to uh, make us spend more money. This you actually have to choose because each type of campaign is drastically different. In the old version of AdWords, you were able to select the campaign type um, in, a, in, a, in a following or subsequent step in the process, but this is actually a better place to choose this campaign type. You could create an account with Ad a Campaign, and if I click this, I'm gonna go right into my billing portal where you're gonna have to set up your, your information, your credit card, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but we actually do wanna go ahead and create a campaign together. Now, we're gonna create our first uh, campaign. I'm gonna go ahead and click on Search Campaign. And again, we're offered to choose a goal, whether it be sales, leads, or website traffic. And if I choose one of these goals, you see how Google really wants us to choose one of these predetermined goals. They're very adamant that we do that. But we're gonna learn how to be more sophisticated Google Ads practitioners. We're gonna learn how to be true experts, and we're gonna be able to customize every setting to meet our own goals, especially as our goals change over time. So we're gonna click down here, create a campaign without a goal. And if you if you even look at the subtle things, like just the iconography over here, you have this like sort of don't enter sign under create a campaign without a goal. And you naturally don't think that that's a button that could click. It's all the way down here. That Google really wants you to click one of these things. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and click create a campaign without a goal. Remember to do that, because if you wanna follow along with us on the next steps, it's gonna be very important that you're following along <clears throat> step by step here. So we're gonna go create a campaign without a goal. And again, Google asks us one more time uh, the type of results you wanna get from this campaign. Of course, the goal for most campaigns is gonna be you know website visits, conversions, phone calls. Now, if I click website visits as a goal, Google's gonna ask me to put in my website and it, they'll use that later on in different, in different aspects of the account. Now, they might offer me to create some dynamic search ads. We'll talk about what those are. They might give me some keyword suggestions. At this point, you're not, you're not limiting yourself. If, if I select any of these options, I'm not limiting any of the control I'm gonna have in the following step. Google just might auto-suggest some things different based on what I select here. So this is not like choosing one of the guided setup structures that they tried to get me to do twice before. I'm gonna type in www.poppin.com and continue. And if you're creating this account in this first campaign for yourself, I would highly recommend 
entering in your website and choosing website visits as a goal you'd like to have. The screen we're on now is where there's a huge amount of different campaign settings that we're gonna be able to configure. If we just scroll down this page, you'll see all the different things we could do. And once we click additional settings, you see that many more options appear once you twirl down that menu. And each one of these has a sub menu with different strategies and different techniques and different options. And it's, it's quite overwhelming. And there's a lot to consider here. And we're gonna go through each one step by step. The first thing Google asks us to do is name our campaign. But before we go ahead and name a campaign, we need to learn a little bit about how to structure a Google Ads account, understanding that the account hierarchy, understanding all these different types of things. Um, then we're gonna set up our ad groups, we're gonna create ads, we're gonna go set up our billing, and there's gonna be a lot between now and then that we're going to learn. In the next lecture, we're gonna start talking about understanding the hierarchy of a Google Ads account understanding um, a little bit about navigation and how we should think about structuring our Google Ads accounts to maximize the efficiency and the organization of our data. I look forward to seeing you guys very soon in the very next lecture.